Welcome back to my EcoBuzz. I'm Jessica Gregory. We've been talking about riparian buffers recently, which are areas of native vegetation along waterways that help to improve water quality and ecosystem health. Any landowner with property adjacent to a stream or other waterway should consider installing a buffer, but this practice is especially important in agriculture, even when waterways aren't directly involved. Not only do they benefit the producer or grower, but they also positively impact nearby landowners. Curious to learn how this works? Come along with me to find out. Utilizing buffers adjacent to cropland can actually save growers money in the long run. There are several ways this can happen. It's estimated that over 57 billion tons of soil have been lost to erosion in the Midwest alone. Buffers reduce erosion by trapping soil and sediment and slowing water runoff, thereby stabilizing sloping banks. Buffers also provide valuable natural control over flooding by absorbing excess water runoff. This ultimately maintains productivity by preventing staggering loss of valuable farmland. Second, when combined with other conservation practices like no-till, farmers can improve the health and quality of their soil, which leads to greater agricultural productivity over time. Third, agricultural buffers can act as a windbreak, sheltering wildlife and livestock from harsh weather and further protecting the soil. And finally, buffers increase natural pollination services by providing habitat to native pollinators like bees, which are critical for the production of crops like fruit or soybeans. More pollinators equal better yields. But there are also several environmental impacts of buffers that directly affect growers and other nearby property owners. Buffers increase water quality by absorbing excess nutrients from fertilizers, pesticides, and livestock manure. This improves the habitat available to aquatic organisms and fish like trout and prevents further pollution downstream. Buffers lead to increased biodiversity, which provides a number of benefits, including habitat for predators of agricultural pests, increased carbon and nutrient storage, and improved water holding capacity, which ultimately reduces the severity of weather events like flooding. There are several types of buffers that can be utilized in agricultural settings, even if the property doesn't directly border a waterway. In addition to riparian buffers, farmers can implement other buffers like contour for prairie strips, filter strips, grassed waterways, or field borders. These can be installed along upland drainage ways, waterways, roadways, or alongside wetlands. Each of these helps to provide many, if not all, of the benefits mentioned previously. Installing buffers has both economic and environmental benefits, but like other agricultural practices, it does involve some upfront costs. The good news is that there are lots of resources available for growers looking to implement buffers on their property, including grant dollars and cost share programs. Farmers who are interested in taking advantage of such programs should contact their local U.S. Department of Agriculture or Conservation District Office for more information. Thanks for joining me on this journey to learn about buffers. Until next time, happy naturing. This video was sponsored by a grant from the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy for Watershed Restoration and by the Rogue River Watershed Partners.